Okay, here we go. This is our uh, little explanation of periodization and uh, what periodization is and how to actually implement it into your training program. Um, so let's just start with kind of a quick definition of periodization. Uh, periodization is a training approach which divides the training year into major periods in which the intensity and volume of the workout are varied so that the selected systems do not adapt to the level of resistance and enter into a state of overtraining or staleness. Um, so that's a mouthful um, and hopefully you caught all that but if you didn't basically what periodization is is you're gonna segment your you know take a take a full year you're gonna segment it into different chunks and you're gonna be working on certain things at certain times uh, throughout that training season which is uh, you know the full calendar year so for hockey we've got three uh, and this is true for most athletics but for hockey we've got three basic uh, basic seasons You've got your off season, your in season, and then your transition mode. And that's where you know, you're kind of in that transition between uh, the end of your regular season and uh, the beginning of the off season. So let's start with off season. We'll talk about some of the goals and objectives of the off season, and then uh, we'll bounce around a little bit as we progress through this, and uh, you know, talk, uh, try to hit most of the key points here. Um, so the main objective of the off season is you're going to focus on your physical gains. So that's where the S3 formula. That's what we're really talking about here with the S3 formula. Uh, this is a 20-week course that takes place in the off season, and our primary focus here is on physical gains. So we want gains in speed, strength, and size. Hence S3, you know, the three the three big S's that we're focusing on here: speed, strength, and size. Um, you're also going to use the off season to mentally recuperate from your strenuous regular season. Uh, so as the season progresses, it gets progressively more uh, mentally taxing on the player and uh, kind of all culminates with playoffs. I mean, playoffs is intense and uh, as fun as it is, it's, uh, you know, it really is a high intensity, mentally occupying uh, type of activity. So uh, we're gonna use that off season to just kind of let our minds go and not have to think too much about hockey uh, during, that, uh, during that phase of the off season. Uh, and then uh, you also want to do some low intensity sports specific improvement. Um, so this can be something like on ice technical work. Um, you know, but that, that's kind of one of my main objectives with my summer camp is that, you know, we don't do a high intensity, uh, you know, five day crash course or three day crash course where the kids are on the ice for six hours a day and then they go home and, and uh, are exhausted. Uh, we do a, a twice a week, uh, you know, technical uh, session that lasts for six weeks. So twice a week for six weeks and our main focus isn't to wear the kids down. It's to uh, you know correct mistakes, correct errors, uh, iron out technique on you know on skating stride, on puck handling, on shooting, stuff like that. So uh, a camp like that would be a really good idea to do uh, just because it's not really high intensity as far as uh, mental focus goes but what it is doing is ironing out uh, some of your physical skills on the ice. So uh, yeah, use the off season for some low intensity sports specific improvement that could be on ice technical work. That might be, you know, you might join a, a summer league that plays once a week and doesn't practice. Uh, or you might join a, a, you know, a team that does one or two tournaments over the summer, which, you know, just kind of stay on the ice, have fun with it. But uh, your main focus is definitely not to be in high competition mode in the summer. And you've got your in season mode. <coughs> Um, we'll scroll over here. Your in-season mode. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Uh, in fact, let me let me bounce over to this graphic that we have here. We'll see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, in-season mode. So so there's there's different philosophies with programs. And some people have different philosophies. Some people, uh, you know, di different I guess different strokes for different folks type of a thing. But uh, I want you to look at this graph. You've got your uh, your here's your off season. So this is where your off season begins. And uh, with a general strength and conditioning program, you've got, uh, you know, you're going to make some gains in that off-season. So you've made your gains in the off-season, now you're at your pre-season mode. And uh, what most workout programs will do is they'll try to uh, make it so that, you know, during the season you maintain the gains that you did, uh, that you uh, accomplished in the summer. Which is a good thing, I mean, that's a worthy goal. Um, but what happens is, uh, you know, you maintain your goals, uh, or you maintain your strength. And then uh, that, that's the black line now. And, uh, and then after the regular season, you're into your next off season and you make some more gains again, right? Uh, which is okay, right? You still progress. Um, 
what other people do is they get into their preseason and uh, regular season starts up, things get crazy, and they let their conditioning go all together. They don't train off the ice. And what happens is they actually, they've, they've made some gains, they lose about half the gains, but then the next offseason comes and they regain some of it, catch up, and then pass themselves a little bit. So uh, they still, you know, after, they still increase during the off seasons, but during the season they lose some of the stuff that they gained, and at the end they come out not as far ahead. Uh, what the S3 program is designed to do is you'll have your gains during the off season. During the in season, you'll still gain. Uh, and that's how we'll structure the S3 pro program to work, the S3 formula to work. So you'll still gain. You won't gain quite as, as quickly as in the off season because obviously you've got other things going on and your main focus is your games, not your uh, off ice training program. But you'll, have some, you'll still have some gains and then the next off season you'll be that much further ahead. So uh, those are kind of the three ways that uh, that players approach the the off ice and in or the on off season and in season phases. And uh, obviously, I think, in my opinion, uh, the the only one to go with uh, is the S three formula um, structure, where you're continually gaining and uh, never losing ground. You're just uh, during the in season, you're not gaining ground quite as quickly. So in season, our goals are to continue your strength gains. Uh, on ice improvement individually and as a team, and this is where your coach, uh, your coaching factor comes into play big time, uh, and then uh, you know preparation for your competition. So that's kind of your uh, three main things that you're focusing on, your main priorities in your in season phase, uh, and then you've got your transition mode. Now transition is kind of a phase where you're going to just catch your breath a little bit. Um, we want to do stuff like active rest. And active rest means, you know, stuff that you're still out doing stuff, still takes some coordination, but that is completely unrelated to hockey. So, uh, you know, and this, this phase lasts maybe two to three weeks after you've played your last game. So two to three weeks, just take a break. Don't think about hockey. Go golfing, go bowling, go hiking, go biking, do whatever you want to do, but don't do anything that has to do with hockey. Give your brain and your body a mental and physical break from hockey. Uh, recover, you know, a lot of times you play through injury during the playoffs, Recover, you know, get a, get a chance to catch your breath, recover, get your injuries kind of ironed out, and, uh, you know, take two to three weeks after that last game, and uh, just, uh, you know, take a break. Don't don't go total couch potato, uh, you know, still do stuff, but uh, don't do anything that has to do with hockey. Uh, and that's your transition mode. And then uh, the one thing that I always, that I always do is, uh, you know, if you get your macro periodization, which is, you know, your three basic seasons, three basic phases, uh, off season, in season, and transition. But then within each of those, I, I generally periodize uh, further on a more of a micro level. So with our uh, our twenty week off season, uh, we've broken that down into three main phases. So you've got your first eight weeks and your second eight weeks, and then you've got your last four four weeks to you know depending on how long it is to your first game, but your last four weeks where you're really making that final push to the to the beginning of the season. So uh, we periodize on a macro and a micro basis uh, with the S3 formula, and uh, you'll see how that works as we uh, get into our worksheet uh, explanations.